Good morning, everybody. This is Moment of Destiny with Pastor Adebo coming your way on Monday morning around the world. Let's start by giving thanks to God. This is the last, uh, this is the week uh, that the Lord has made. The Lord has enabled me and you to be able to see. Let's thank Him. I mean, this is Monday, the first working day of the week. Let us go ahead and bless His name. Let's go ahead and appreciate him. Let's bless him. Malagadebo Shkoba. Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your mercy that is rich over us. You are rich in mercy yourself. My Father, we thank you. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you are about to do. Father, we appreciate you. Somebody lift up your voice where you want to thank him. There's nothing like appreciating God for his mercy. Appreciate him. Wherever you are, please join me to thank this wonderful father. He's a God of mercy. He's a God of mercy. You are a good, good father. Ah, we bless you, Lord Jesus. Uh, it's someone right to say, you are good, good father. <laughs> He's a good father. Somebody join me to bless this wonderful, merciful father. Bless him. Father, we thank you. We we'll give you a praise for what you have done for us till this moment, throughout this month. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Um, I want us to uh, know that we've been talking about wisdom and um, we've been talking about how to be properly positioned to experience the wisdom of God that will grant you access to the wisdom of God. And um, yesterday we spoke about wisdom for family rescue so if you have not listened to that message please go to my youtube page destiny monday tv listen to it wisdom for family rescue and also and uh, and also the uh uh also on my facebook at the bottom of ministries uh, page you will see that there so what are we saying there for about positioning yourself to receive wisdom the bible says i have no sin um years have no had neither entered that of anyone what god has in stock for those that love him you can see that you have to be positioned in love to be able to uh, receive uh, uh this wisdom if you are not somebody that put yourself on in that position where you love God. Love is the covenant platform for an ending, an ending success. That is where we commit, we, that's where we must stand to commit God to launch us into the realm of wisdom. And I want us to know, he said, eyes have not seen, pace setting accomplishment, ears have not heard, ear tingling exploit, has not entered the heart of any man. What God has in stock for those that love him what god has in store for those that love him is bigger than any dream that any man can conceive so love for god is 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 a positioning that you must have because there are many worshipers in the church today very few lovers of god god's genuine lover will have proof to be the greatest world changers love is god's dominant nature God is not faith. God is not vision. God is not power. God is love. That is, I'm coming back on this thing again. 1 John 4.16 and 1 John 4.8 God is love. God is not church. God is not victory. God is not Bible. God is not praise. God is love. Love is God. That is God's dominant nature. So he dwells in love. So he that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. And you and God form an eternal unbeatable team in the context of life. And that is, we will see generational success built on this platform. And at the end of the day, you will be left to make your choice on which side of the line to belong. I want to let you know, when you, somebody talking about somebody loving God, what does it mean to love God? To love God, the Bible call it First John, First uh, John five three. He said, "For this is the love of God that will keep His commandment and His 
is commandment are not grievous. By biblical definition of love for God is keeping his commandment with delight. John 14, 21. He said, He that loved me, my father will love him. I will manifest ourselves to him. God's love is defined by the quality of your obedience to his commandment. That is why I want us to believe God today. Many people, they are worshippers. They are not lovers. Many people, they, 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 they worship God, but their love level of God is low. And that's what we are. That's why there's limit, limited access to the wisdom of God. And that's why we want to pray today. We want to pray that the Lord, God Almighty, will, will help us to love him more. The quality of your obedience is what defines the quality of your love for God. If you love God, let it show in your obedience. Many people don't obey God. They all come to church, they hear the word of God, they don't obey it. They choose, they choose and pick. They cherry pick what they want. No, lovers are obedient. When you love somebody, you don't want to offend them. When you love somebody, you will be obedient to them. When you love God, you will be you, you obey him with delight. So the quality of your obedience defines your love level. So let us not love in words, but in truth and in deed. First John 3.18 God's, God, God's word, God's love is not in words, but in deeds. Many in the church draw to God only with their mouth. Their heart are far. True lovers, true God lovers are wise and will always have something to show for it. I'm going to pray. Lord, help me to love you. Help me to walk in obedience. Show me how obedient you are. I will show you how much love for God you have. Lord, I receive grace to walk in love. I receive grace to love you. Lord, help me. Help me today to love you. Help me to be properly positioned as I gather the word of God from different parts of the Bible, from Genesis, from Revelation. Even the word of God, the, 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 how much of access you have to Revelation is determined by how much love that is in your heart. Your, your love of God is a magnet. When you have love in your heart, it opens the secret to the pages of the Bible. When you pull scriptures from Genesis, from Revelation, from Isaiah, those are the stick of those are the sticks you are gathering for fire. When you have access to understanding revelation, fire will not stop burning in your life. And that is why you need this love. You have to ask God, Lord, help me to love you more than I did before. Help me. Begin to pray right now. My father, my father, my father, help me to love you. Help me to love you more and more than before. Help me, Lord. Help me that my love will be waxing stronger for you. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. If you are there, you are not born again. Take this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Today I receive as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us to know quite right that as you uh as you demonstrate this love you give your life to jesus and show love love is a giving love so please help me share this message share with somebody bless somebody with this i live about 10 people share with them just share with them doesn't take anything just bless somebody with this brokers transfer it to them through your through your whatsapp share with them god bless you and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow on this uh devotion devotion let me share it bless somebody with this let somebody let's go there i have a vision to reach more people with these brokers please don't just listen to it and drop it bless somebody with it god bless you have a blessed day today in jesus and we are i know that your life will not remain the same join me tomorrow morning for us to continue uh this broadcast in jesus mighty name amen god bless you bye bye